AT&T stopped expanding their microwave network in the 1970s as they began to focus on fiber. And in the 1990s, the Long Line's microwave network went dark. AT&T sold off all the towers in 1999. Some were purchased by cell tower companies like American Tower and have been repurposed. Some went unpurchased and now stand derelict. Some were torn down. And some even still have the old microwave equipment inside. Some are still being used as microwave relays, albeit with new equipment. Microwave transmission provides slightly lower latency over the same distance compared to fiber optics, making it a potentially useful technology for real-time applications, such as high-frequency trading. The AT&T Long Lines Towers and Bunkers, built during the Cold War era, are a fascinating piece of urban lore. While this technology stands derelict, if it's even still standing, the technologies developed by Bell Labs live on in everything we use today. In fact, the frequencies used by the TD2 system can now be produced by your 5G cell phone. Watch the video linked below to learn more about the AT&T Long Lines Microwave Network, which carried phone calls and TV programs starting in the 1940s.